So you have an all gray home and it is making you depressed. The walls are gray, the trim's gray, the cabinets are gray, the floor's gray, and now your soul is also gray. What can you do about it? Well, today we're going to be looking at this space here and turning it into this and making it feel a lot more fun, a lot more vibrant, and something that you would actually want to live in, not just a space that kind of just feels like you're renting. Obviously, gray is a very popular color, but as of recently, it has kind of gone to a new extreme where everything is gray. Originally, I actually didn't mind the gray trend because it is a color that pulls from every color in the color wheel, but especially once we got to the gray flooring, it started feeling very boxy, very sad, and very office-like. So what do you do first? Well, if you have gray vinyl floors like this, cover it up, I swear. Like, just cover it up. Use a rug, use anything to cover it up if you can. Getting a large rug is going to go a long way at making the space feel more lively and feeling just a lot more inviting as well. So I've gone with this cool rug here. It's got a bit of color in it, but it's still muted. So it kind of goes with the space. And we're going to use this rug here to tie in the rest of the furniture pieces I choose. So starting with the rug first, then we add in a couch. I am just going to add in just a plain white couch goes with the trim, nothing too crazy either. And then you can decorate with cushions, switch things out a lot easier. And I know a lot of people really like white sofas. Personally, I'm not a huge fan, but let's do it for this space. So next we're adding in our TV console and TV, a just simple basic. I'm choosing a warmer timber. So you could go with something like a dark brown or something like that. Because we're trying to add warmth and life back into the space, those light oak colors are actually really good for these trendier sort of spaces. So we've added that in. We're going to add in a little bit of color now. We add in a little bit of blue with this cool blue armchair and then add in more timber again with a coffee table. Usually when you're working with a gray space, it certainly helps to know whether the gray is cool or warm. Because you can never really tell in photos, I've opted with a more cooler looking space because grays tend to be more on the cooler side, especially in paint. And now we can get to the fun part, which is all the decorations. And this is where everything's really going to actually start coming together. So next we've got all these beautiful cushions. Obviously I've got one gray cushion and that's tying in with the walls and with the flooring and all that. But everything else, just a variation of that blue. So then it ties in with some of those colors that we've already got going on. And we're gonna add more texture and warmth in with a piece of art. So I've added this really fun pink piece of art in that kind of ties in with the rug. And we're covering up that wall space because if you've got all these giant gray, sad walls, you need to cover it. You need to like just cover the entire space. This is definitely a space where you know, if you're a maximalist, you can actually kind of get away with a lot of things because you just want to cover everything anyway. But when you're a minimalist and you want a warmer, softer space, this can be a very difficult space to work with. And honestly, as a designer, I actually think this is probably one of the harder spaces to work with as just a general person. Let's continue. The next most important thing is plants. I've discussed this on my channel before, but plants just add in a certain amount of life that is just so, so hard to actually replicate. So we've added two plants in into the space. Uh, try to make them bigger if you can. Obviously not everyone is a huge green thumb, but I personally believe that adding plants, if that's the only thing that you do, it will level up your space extensively. Now, although I'm looking at this as a rental property, if you did want to go to that next step, my personal opinion would be to add curtains. And this is just like a plain white curtain that's going to be like a little bit see-through. You see it all the time in design styles. And the reason why I've selected this is number one, it's covering up that gray. And number two, it adds height to the space and dimension because everything is obviously on the ground and isn't very high. Having something that goes almost all the way to the ceiling makes the space feel grander and feels like the design continues up. So that would probably be the final touch that I would do to try and add some warmth back into the space and some softness back in rather than all of these cold, harsh colors. So now you've gone from something that was sad, gray and boring to something that's really fun, contemporary and cool. So why do we all just like the color gray now? Because clearly it was a really popular color very recently and now everyone seems to dislike it. Well, the gray trend was inevitable ever since the homes became more of an asset and less of a reflection of our personality. 
we all started thinking about resale value rather than what we actually like. So you see less and less quirky layouts, you see less and less fun colors, and you see less personality coming into these newer homes because everyone's so conscious about resale value. And especially for like the landlord special, gray vinyl flooring is going to actually show up less with scuff marks. So it makes sense from a financial standpoint, but when you're trying to live in a space like this, it's not as easy. It feels very cold. It feels like an office environment and it doesn't feel very connected to who we are. So trying to add in us again has to be done through furnishings rather than potential architectural aspects. And so that's what I want to show you guys today, that even if you were living in a rental apartment like this and it's all gray, you can still add in a lot of personality just with some accessories. And before we go, I just want to show you this other apartment that also styled with color in an all gray space. And I think they did an all right job considering it's a staging job. The bedroom looks quite warm and neutral, greens a little bit. And then in the living area, we've got this like green and orange mid-century vibe going. Of course, because it's a staged space, it's not very livable, but I think it does a good job at trying to add color and add warmth back into the space to sell it. Let me know in the comments whether or not you prefer this space or you prefer my design. And if you really enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments below and I'll see you on our next design adventure.